Okay. Just, mm -hmm. You know, it's like the Smashville of Ultimate. Yeah. So getting right into the game. I don't like that. Yeah. <laughs> um, sorry. Uh, so one thing about this matchup is supposedly, you know, you can heal off the grenade explosions as both Lucas and Ness. Yeah. Yes. But depending on the placement and the timing of uh, the grenades by uh, Snake, you know, he could cook them, he could place them in a bunch of different ways. It could be pretty hard to find that opportunity. Yeah. And other than grenades being like kind of a big like 50-50 factor in this matchup, mm -hmm. the aerials and tilts are, great. are really great on They're Snake. Great. Snake's tilts are incredibly fast and hard hitting. Oh yeah. Also, what I like is that a uh, snake can actually just um, bait out that uh, what is it si down B from Lucas mm -hmm. and just get a free tilt in, even though it does have a hitbox. He's still in recovery. Yeah, but I think it has a hitbox like when he's releasing it, right? I think so. Yeah, I think yeah. yeah. So you can just hit him like while he's doing it if yeah, you're just, not scared. There might be a wind box on it though. I know there's a wind box on Nesses. Really? Yeah. Oh, is that what like hits you when he like combos you? Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. That makes more sense. I was wondering what that was. I thought it would just have like a, a big hitbox and just like, a bunch of hits done for it. Yeah, but at the same time, um, like the combo game and combo potential from Lucas mm -hmm. can do quite a number on most of the cast. Uh, this character in the last patch got quite a few like quality of life buffs, yeah. which were Pretty good for the character. I know that all the Lucas things liked it. On his dash attack, that's a really, I really like that. Dash attack, uh, less recovery frames on the aerial side B. Mm -hmm. A lot of really good that's, stuff. That is the that is such a good quality of life buff. You're you're absolutely right. It is it is great <laughs> for that character. And both of these players um, playing very patiently, trying to find that last finishing blow without having to commit too much for this early stock. And that dash attack Ooh. is actually going to do it as soon as he said it. Yeah. As soon as he said it. Commentators curse. Oh. And then right back to back. Takes it right back. And this is what a good set looks like, you know, both both players knowing how to execute their characters to quite a level of expertise where they can just get each other to over 100% and then it becomes last of scenarios every Ooh. single stock. That was, nice. that was a nice C4. Um, unfortunately, Choco didn't realize it was on the platform or just wanted to get into big meaty damage. <laughs> Yeah, big meaty damage indeed. Both of these characters have the ability to kind of do that to each other. I, I do like uh, Lucas's damage output. His combos game is actually really good. And I think Choco and Eden play pretty often. They used to train like and play Smash 4 together. Yeah, Eden, one of the great teachers of South Florida. Mm -hmm. I, I'm, I hope he uh, whipped out the Fox. The Fox? Which one of these players Ooh. are you talking about? Because Eden. both of them play Eden. Fox. Oh, no, no, but Eden's Fox. Eden's Fox in Smash 4 was so much fun to watch. Yeah, Eden's Fox was... Pretty good. Honestly, any character that Eden played was fun to watch in Smash 4. Oh, you're right. You're right. He's, he's such a fundamentally strong player that mm -hmm. you just have to appreciate what he does in this game. He's definitely not trying to overextend against Lucas, and he's trying to hold hold a rip drill, like stage control against Lucas because he has to be careful that side. But up till just taking his stock real quick. That was really good of him. He placed the grenade at the neutral mm -hmm. get-up spot, rolled back to cover whatever the next option was, and the aggressive option of Nair coming out from Lucas getting up-tilted by Snake. Perfect placement by Eden. The, you know what's great about that? Um, he was covering almost every option. Oh, he, he, Snake is mm -hmm. a menace at the ledge. What, do you, what was his C4 by any chance? I don't know. Dang it. <laughs> See, and if we can't keep track of C4, Ima imagine Choco. In imagine this Choco just stressed out, being a stock down, right? Trying to always be aware of where the C4 is. It can get, it can get cumbersome, you know. Can he? He can absorb Nikita, right? The explosion? Yeah, the explosion. Yeah, like. I believe no. so. Okay, okay. So, so at least he's just doesn't have to worry about that. Most characters have to be be afraid of Nikita when they're off stage. But at the same Ooh. time, I do know that um, when Lucas is using the up B and like riding it up with the electricity around him, really? it can move the Nikita out of direct hitting him. Oh, okay, okay, because it is a hitbox. That's yeah. right, that's right. But Snake can just drop it. But Snake can one. just drop it, yeah. Yeah. So I don't know. It's a weird interaction. We might see it later on in the set. Yeah. Uh, uh, ooh. Oh, and oh, Choco. sniping him with the side B, Choco, nice. sharpshooter. Eden just kind of like staying back, just uh, ooh. That oh, that really fair to dash attack connection for 30%, oh. and then a grab follow up afterwards. Up air, forward air, big damage coming out right now. I like the option of Eden uh, recovering. Ooh, recovering he, he high. Went for it all. Mm -hmm. Because he can't recover low because Lucas can just break his cypher mm -hmm. with uh, almost every single air except for Nair. That was such confidence from play from Choco Taco. You know, not moving around when Snake has you at a kill percent, mm -hmm. being confident enough to stand still and F tilt your way away. This man's playing with death. <laughs> you could up tilt him at any moment. You know, four tilt, um, like two thirds into the stage might kill too. And that's oh, gonna take that it. Was just, I think that was just enough, yeah. Yep. yeah. 
Uh, actually, uh, down throw to forward tilt. Yeah, that's could actually take a stock too. Definitely a thing. So you have to be careful being grabbed around like 130, 140 range, mm -hmm. depending on the, the I, weight. I think that Chaco was playing very well right at the beginning of the match. Mm -hmm. They were staying quite even, and it just happened to be that Eden took the first stock. And in, the, in a tense set like that, whoever takes the first stock really is controlling the pace of the game, right. especially it's, at this level. Especially of play. Snake too. And Snake, yeah. Snake honestly can struggle against people that are camping him out when he is mm -hmm. at a stock deficit. But at the same time, that's kind of his game plan when he's ahead yeah. and when he's behind. He doesn't really want to interact with you. And he's just going to throw stuff. Well, he's not only going to just throw stuff at you, he's also going to hit you pretty hard, too. He's going to shoot stuff. <laughs> he's going to drop grenades. He's going to mm -hmm. kick you in the teeth. He's going to do a lot of different things. Snake, quite the brawler himself. <clears throat> All right. I like the damage coming from Choco. Ooh. Heal that C4. That. that was actually really smart for him. I like that. Holding down the down B, knowing he wanted to blow C4. You think he's trying to catch, like, uh, reading his landings with grenades? I think that he's placing these grenades to try to bait him into going for these down Bs. Mm -hmm. But, you know, Chaco is actually pulling it off and doing a pretty good job of not extending too far forward. Mm -hmm. Healing off the grenade explosion, knowing exactly the reach. how big it is. Yeah, it's yeah. huge. It's like a giant block. Choco did pretty solid this game. I, oh. All right, I thought he was gonna go for a dash back there. Okay, good job jumping over with the back air, going for another back air, hitting him with the sleeping bag. Ooh, you gotta be careful not being common by your own grenades, a snake. I think that was, See, but one key difference in the matchup of Lucas versus Essen is, <laughs> is Lucas doesn't really have a great answer for the extremely high recoveries that snakes love to go for, whereas Ness has that PK Thunder that can actually like take PK you off Thunder the top. Cypher? Uh, yeah, it'll pop oh, that. out of Cypher. Oh, that is kill him off the top, yeah. And uh, Choco answering with a solid fair, around like 150 ring. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Whereas Lucas's is a little too slow to kind of reach up there, and Snake can do something to make it down. Yeah, it's just not fun. Uh, it's a little more Going for the neutral B. Great Did spacing you? into the spike. Ooh. Gonna get the Cypher oh, again, and he Ooh. dunks him. Yo, that was a clean stop. That was clean. That was like 10 seconds. That was God Choco. Choco's in his element today. He is. He's, He's playing insane. He's playing really well. Insane in the membrane, Jimmy Neutron looking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like that you tried. <laughs> oh, back tilt putting him off stage. Mm -hmm. Nair bringing him down, trying to get the F tilt pressure into the down tilt, and Choco Taco keeping up this pressure until that very moment where Eden gets the back air. This could be his oh, down okay. smash, not gonna nah, hit. It's not gonna hit, even with BS1's ledges. Choco Taco putting it in his face with these forward airs right now. Gonna get down throw F tilted, but that's just his first stock. He knows that he's ahead, he's taking his time, he's breathing. He still has to be careful. It is still Snake, though. Snake is, is still an explosive character. Exactly, just, <laughs> this man just took 39. <laughs> Very explosive indeed. I, I'm seeing a lot, oh. I, I, don't know, I don't know how I feel about Eden entering with, uh, with grenades like that. I, I feel like he's taking too much damage from, from Choco's fares and getting comboed, him, comboed because of it. I think one problem right now, though, for Eden is the fact that Choco is not committing to anything. Mm -hmm. He's not trying to go anywhere near this snake, and if snake is not being approached, you know, he has to overly commit to a lot of his aerials. That's true. His aerials are very slow. And, and like right there, he tried really to catch like him it. jumping, mm -hmm. but not going to get hit. I'm he's actually going to get hit for it. I'm surprised he opted for the back air there and he didn't go for dash attack. I, even though I think Choco is waiting for it. That fair gonna do it? That fair is gonna do it. That right. Lucas fair is strong. It is actually really strong. You know, having a frontward aerial that kills is so important for a lot of the cast mm -hmm. because, like, in ha like being able to like cover a, cover a, a zone certain in front of zone you. in front of you while also having the ability to back up mm -hmm. is excellent. Is it? Is it, it is. true? Is it safe on parry? That move? Fair. Uh, Lucas fair. Maybe at like super max spacing. <gasps> It's really it's safe. Very okay, it's safe. really safe. Okay, I'll take that. That's, that's better than nothing. Most 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 characters don't have an incredibly safe fair. Balls. I'm not gonna do it on stream. No, no. <laughs> three, two, one, go. All right, game two. Here we game three. three, three. Sorry, whoops. Here we go. Going to battlefield. I think both these characters like battlefield a lot. I I, I though I, I'm not sure what uh what you would ban against Snake as Lucas really. You know, I think Snake is confident on pretty much every stage. Yeah, except for maybe FD, and even then it's still not that bad. <coughs> it's like his quote-unquote worst stage, the same as Palutena, where she doesn't really have a really bad stage. Mm -hmm. 
makes you think what stages Chaco Taco banned. Mm -hmm. Probably like FD. No, no, he would want FD. You That's Choco. So? Yeah, Lucas does really well on FD. I, th I think it would ban Lila against Snake. Maybe. I think with the C4 placements, it, it really is a, a bit oppressive. But even even with Eden's counter pick, Choco's still holding a solid lead. Yep, until that very moment, the <laughs> down air fast fall into the grab. A quick 30 damage coming out oh, from I think, Snake. I think that was a miss input. I think that was a B reversal. It's possible. Yeah. Ooh. Getting the grab. That That's down tilt, I think, right? Down tilt's yeah. frame three and it combos. Is it frame three or frame two? I don't remember. Don't tell me it's frame two. Please, no. Don't make it worse. Luke is down tilt, right? Frame three, I think. I know the jab is frame two. Uh, and I thought that down tilt was the same frame. Ch Chaco would know rather than us. We'll just ask him after. Yeah, we'll just ask him after. Mm. Ooh, that's C4 almost dropped him. Almost. But, you know, Eden, pretty. Okay, I think. I think right now? You really can't. It's hard to approach Lucas. Yeah, it's hard snake. to approach Lucas. Yeah. But the fact that he has this tri plat layout means that he can set a bunch of different traps with these grenades mm -hmm. that can give him, like, other opportunities to get damage rather than approach. Oh, that, that forward so killing. Yep. I think he initially held out. Also, what's good is on um, this stage is um, Snake can hold the top platform with C4. So he can catch his jump. Which is actually really terrifying. How are you going to approach Snake? I don't know. Here comes Nikita. No. No. Going I, I off with the down air. Ooh, okay, not getting the spike. Or the neutral and air. Not being strong enough. Oh, okay. Right. Okay, going for it all. Up tilt, going to yeah. take it. And we have an even game right now. 53% on yeah, Snake, right. but this is an even game. It, it's Snake. It's definitely still even. Snake's guaranteed to put, put like a minimum of 30 damage on himself per stock. <laughs> also, like. Any grenade he does, he follow ups and does a solid. What well, we, we saw last game, I think, thirty nine percent. Oh yeah. But. Okay. Oh, he just going in. Yeah, good Dude. pressure right now from Chaco. He's not even afraid. He's not afraid of these grenades at all. He's gonna catch him and throw him right back like a game of hot potato. I, I do. I do like that. Um, he's actually spacing incredibly well with these arrows. He's not actually popping any of the grenades. I think for this this whole set, I don't think he's actually in an unintentionally popped the grenades with his aerials. And only hit Snake. That's very hard to do. That's incredibly hard to do. You understand how many times I fair Snake? Oh man, and Ooh. the down air to forward uh, smash, hitting him with the twig. Almost killing him. Do you think he's just gonna? He's just gonna oh, fair. Oh, he just fared him he again. He just fared him. Just, I thought he was gonna sit back and try to like catch him with a PK fire or something. I, I think that what he thought was that Eden was gonna try to use a bunch of these like crazy movement mix-ups with the grenade poles, and he just instead of trying to hit where he like was he was trying to cover like the zone between center and the two platforms on the yeah. right yeah that makes sense. typically when you're controlling center stage that's what you want to try to do as your game plan is make it so that people can't retreat off of the platforms for free yeah you want to minimize how much space they have to run away mm -hmm. also he, i think he knows that you didn't have to approach now like he has to start um taking a little bit more risk in order to get this damage and taking Toko stock because it is even though it's snake it's still um in Choco's favor for sure right now. Yeah, I don't know if Eden is going to be able to kind of neutral his way into this. I think he's going to have to go for some kind of a hard read to get this stock off right now. Although, if he does get the stock, anything's possible. Mm -hmm. Of course. And the setup with both grenades and the C4 Ooh. into the up tilt, still not getting Choco Taco. If this is, is pre-patch, that would have broken shield. <laughs> would it? A yeah, grenade used to do a lot, remember? On shield. Oh, true, true. Yeah, now it does nothing. Okay, tried to hit the tech in place. Teching in, though, is Ooh, Eden. Oh, that, that shoot getting incredibly low. Okay, the latest possible back air, oh, dropping the C4. the C4 and barely missing. I, I do like what Dean's going for. I'm surprised he hasn't gone for a fair yet, though. Just risking it all. <laughs> Both of the grenades. What is he going to do with it? No, the, oh, oh, trying to go I, for I like the, the back, back air off stage. Oh, just barely whiffing. Not getting the edge guard. Choco Taco letting him live, going for the up tilt. Let's go, Eden Choco. can't hit it. Yo, he's still going in. He's not afraid he of He is not afraid at all that's of Snake, it. and that's, that's going to do it. That was a really Covering good Covering the air dodge. Choco Taco taking it 3-1. That PK 2-1? 2-1. So or PK 3, I'm sorry. 2-1 over Eden. 2-1.